Next, we're going to look at how to maybe control the rotation based upon some kind of GUI interface. So to do that, um, what I'm going to start doing is showing you that copying and pasting code is a good thing as long as you know what the code is. Let's take, for example, like transform rotate delta. Okay. If I was to duplicate this over and bring it down, and then go over to the script to transform rotate delta and right click and go reveal in finder. I can right click on this one and duplicate it. Okay. And then I can go back and now there's two versions. For this one, what I'm going to do is just get rid of rotate delta and rotate uh, GUI slider just like that all right and also i'm going to rename this one same thing It's from rotate GUI slider. Perfect. All right, now GUI slider already has a lot of the code in it. So now we're trying, I'm trying to teach you how to resource and re your code that you already have. Resource it. You don't have to keep typing it over and over. Make sure you kind of know what it is and you know, as you as you develop more and more code, you're going to understand it. But um, the reason for this whole application right here is to quickly go in, okay, that's how you transform rotate. And you can go into the script and copy and paste that from this example into a new example and start building code based upon code. It's kind of like having a dictionary of code. In this case, we're going to have something a little bit different and we're going to throw a new thing out here, a static variable. And a static variable is just something that can pass between several functions or between um, different scripts. Okay, so that's, that's the difference between a variable and a static variable. It's going to be a float. And a float is not a whole number, it's like a 5.9, 5.86. So anything with a point value is a float. All right, and I have this. Now this isn't gonna be based upon speed. It's going to be based upon slide. So I copy this over throw it over here as a variable. So I have to now uh, make a new function that you know will control slide. And this is where you start and get into the GUI interface. Now you can put GUIs anywhere. If you make a static variable and I put a GUI interface on the camera, uh, it'll work just fine. In this case I'm doing I'm going to like actually just script the GUI right into the box. So the game object itself has a GUI interface. It's not a bad thing. It's just think about later on is if you get this huge game and you know you hand it off to another person to uh, head up the project and you coded the GUI interface into the game object. Now that person has to sort through like hundreds of game objects trying to figure out where the GUI is for that object. Uh, what I'm doing right now is typing out the GUI box rectangle. And it works like this. It is five units over, 80 units down, and these are pixels. And I got 90, 80. So if 
This would represent the width and height. Oops, one too many commas. All right, and now I can type anything I want in here as long as it's in quotation marks. So speed and, and this little thing right here, the that slash n equals character return. So that starts a new line. Then I'm going to make something like a little tiny interface for it that says, well, there's a zero in the center. There we go. So that's what it's going to say, speed and direction move start and then they got this little thing that represents a scale of zero to faster to slower all right so to code this in all we have to do now is define what slide is and slide is a new gui interface and I think I'm running out of time in this video, so I'm going to code that into the next video.